Hello, Stampin' Friends. Good Tuesday evening, January 26th, 2021. And welcome to Almost Live Stampin' with Charlene. We're doing a really fun project tonight. I am calling it an accordion fold card, even though the card itself is mainly used out of designer series paper. Um, it's one layout, but I'm gonna show you five different designs. And I'm using the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper right here that is available in the Celebration brochure. This is going to be the focus of the card, but I'm also gonna use a couple of punches and a really fun stamp set. You are gonna love these cards, and I absolutely love the color combination. These aren't colors that I usually use, and I certainly never put them all together. So let's get started on tonight's really fun accordion fold. Five cards, one easy layout project. So it's called an accordion fold card and I'm going to show you why because when you open it up it opens up and closes like an accordion and this is one way that you can use the fold where you just adhere the designer series paper to just one piece of four and a quarter by five and a half card stock after I show you all the samples, we're gonna go through and make the card, but I just wanna show you the different variations first. So this is just the fully open, opened accordion fold card. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can modify it, and like I did here on this one on the bottom, all I did was take this first piece here, and I just put some glue here and folded it in. So then you're gonna be left with something that looks like this one here. So instead of it opening all the way, it's just gonna open up like that, okay? So pretty, and then I put a piece of cardstock here so you can write your sentiment on there. Okay, so we have our fully opened accordion, and then let's just say we have our, uh, one opening. I don't know the technical terms for what I'm trying to tell you here, but you get what I'm saying, okay? See there? So it's full, and then we have one, and then the next one, I did two like this, just to show you the different paper designs. And then, on the other one, this one just opens, here's our full one again. This one just opens one time. So what I did here was I glued this one down and then I glued the second one down and I glued them both on the back so it just flips open one time. Now for my favorites, if you look at this one here, I glued everything down, I put some tear and tape adhesive, and I made this into a pocket card. And I will go through and I will show you each one, but I just wanna show you the examples first. And then on this one, finally, this is my favorite, I made a double pocket fold card. So those are all the examples. And there are six different, um, there's 12 sheets, six different designs, and you, I have used all of the paper, every one of the designs, so you get a look at, at all of them on these card samples, and what's great is, you know, when you flip it over, you have this beautiful pattern that's on the back, too. So it just makes such a gorgeous collection of cards, and they are so quick and easy to make. Um, and then, of course, this one looks like that. I love this pattern. And see the back, how beautiful. These colors are gorgeous. So let me show you the different supplies that I used, and then I'll get started. So in addition to the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper, I am also going to be using the second largest stitched nested uh, labels die. This one here, 
Actually, I think it's the third largest because that's the first, second, third largest. And then I am using the Band Together stamp set and the Coordinating Detailed Band dies. This is from the annual catalog. And from these dies, I am going to be using this oval shape, which fits perfectly around these sentiments. So I'm also going to be using the Perennial Flower Punch. This is from the annual catalog. And the Small Bloom Punch. So everything is from the annual catalog, except for the Designer Series Paper, which is from the Celebration brochure. You are gonna be amazed when you see how easy it is to make this card. All you need to do is take one piece of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock. This is Rococo Rose. And then take a piece of the 12 by 12 paper and cut it down to five and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarter inches. And then you wanna score it at one and three quarter fold it in like that, four and three quarter, fold it like that, and then one last time at seven and three quarter. And that is all that there is. I, can it get any easier? For the result that you get with this card, this is one of my favorites. And then just add your multi-purpose liquid glue and adhere your accordion fold piece of designer series paper to the card just like that. And there is your accordion fold. And now let me just show you how I finished it off. There's your accordion fold. Here's the finished card. So I used the stitched nested labels die and Rococo Rose to create this background here. And then I used the Celebrate the Best Day Ever from the Band Together stamp set. And I used the Coordinating Oval. This is from the Detailed Band Dies, which coordinates with this set. And that's how I cut out the sentiment. And then I used the perennial flowers punch and I punched out two old olive flowers and I just laid them um, on top of each other like that. And I punched out one small bloom with Rococo Rose for here. And then I did a coordinating one here in old olive. And then I just topped them off with a pearl. And that is how easy this card is to make. So let me um, show you the different ways that you can adhere the pieces together so that you can get different, different ways to open your accordion fold. So this is the first one. So this is open all the way. And then let me grab my next sample here, which opens, Let me get the right one for you. Okay, this is the next one. And you'll see that this opens a little bit smaller. So what I did was I just took this first piece here and I just applied some adhesive. So here's your full accordion fold. And if you want, you can just apply some adhesive here to this piece and adhere that down. So now, instead of having a full accordion, accordion fold, it opens like that, and this piece stays down. And then, the next thing that you can do is flip it open and put some adhesive here on this piece. Adhere that down, and then it just flips open like that. So fun, right? Okay, so now there are two other things that you can do. Let me show you those samples. These are so fun too. Um, okay, so I can take some tear and tape adhesive and put it along the sides here and adhere it down like that and then I will come up with, you'll end up with a little pocket card. So you can just 
put a little piece of cardstock in there inside the pocket. The other thing that you can do is, remember how I, oh, let me take this one here. Um, you can put tear and tape adhesive here and make a pocket like that and then take tear and tape adhesive and put it here and make another pocket like that. So you'll have a double pocket fold card like this one here. So let's review all the different ways that you can fold it. So you can just leave it open like a regular accordion fold all the way. I would put a piece of uh, cardstock here, maybe um, petal pink so that you can write on it. Okay, so that's one way. And then the next way is to just adhere the first piece down so it opens like this. And then a third way is to adhere both pieces down so it opens like this, like a little book. Here's another one, another example. And then you can make your pocket card or your double pocket card. And then let's just go over how I decorated all of them. If you want to screenshot or pause these, you can see it's all the same pieces. This is just the stitched, um, the stitched nested label with the sentiment from the Band Together stamp set, the perennial flower punch, the small bloom punch, and the pearl. This one here, you're a great example to me. And I just played with all the colors. I added some ribbon, um, just different coordinating ribbon that I had. And the pearls to finish it off. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. Sometimes our tutorials are really long. Sometimes they're short. This is just a fabulous card. I hope you enjoy making it because it really, really is a great way to wow your friends. So there's actually, there's six different designs, even though I used five layouts. Um, one of the layouts I used twice, but there's six different designs. So with one pack of the designer series paper, you can make 24 cards. So this is a great thing to add to your, uh, your paper craft stash a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I love this one, the Paper Blooms designer series paper that I used tonight. The colors are spectacular. Um, so you can get that for free with any $50 purchase before tax and shipping between now and February 28th. So have a great week. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.